Hey guys, VA Bengal again with a quick tutorial on something that I like to call double sticking. So rising short hop aerials are a very important part of Smash 4, but are you optimizing yours? Probably not. First, let's talk about a few jump mechanics in this game. When you input a jump, your character goes into a very short animation where they transition from the ground to the air. This is called a jump squat. The length of the jump squat animation varies from character to character. Let's take a look at Mario's. This is the first frame of Mario's jump squat. You can begin buffering an aerial input at this point, and the move will come out on the first frame after the jump squat ends. As you can see, Mario's jump squat lasts 5 frames. Frame 5 is the last frame in which Mario can input an aerial and still have it come out on the first frame after the jump squat ends. So your buffer window is from frames 1 to 5. Any attack input on frame 6 or later will result in an aerial that is not frame perfect. Here's me doing a Mario forward air by hitting X and then moving the C stick to the right. Now those might have looked like perfectly good short hop aerials, but let's slow it down and see what's actually happening. This is Mario's first actionable frame after the jump squat. As you can see, he doesn't seem to be entering any sort of attack animation. Finally, on frame 5, the fair animation begins. That's four wasted frames. And that may not seem like much, but in a game like Smash Bros, every frame matters. So what can you do to ensure that all of your short hop rising aerials are coming out frame perfect? Introducing double sticking, or double stick buffering. The inputs are easy, but tap jump is required for this to work. All you have to do is hit up on the analog, and then move the C-stick in the direction of the aerial that you want to perform immediately after. As long as you hit your C-stick input sometime during your jump squat frames, you get your buffered short hop aerial. Normally, when pressing up to jump, not returning the analog to neutral before your jump squat frames end would cause you to do a full jump as opposed to a short hop. With double sticking, however, as long as you buffer your aerial input, your character is guaranteed to do a short hop, regardless of how long you hold up on the analog. As you'll see here, with the double sticking, the fair animation begins in the very first frame after the jump squat ends. Now you'll see it a few times in action with the inputs. So for all aerials except up air, buffering them out of a short hop isn't too difficult if you just slide your thumb from X to A instead of using the C stick, right? While this is true, Using the C-Stick for aerials is extremely valuable because it allows you to fully control your aerial momentum. The reason for that being that it stops you from having to move the analog in a certain direction in order to perform a particular aerial. So with that being said, double sticking is definitely the way to go. Now I'll show you a few places where getting these frame-perfect rising aerials out is really important. Here, you'll see me attempting to perform an auto-canceled short hop fair with ZSS by pushing X and then the C-Stick. As you can see, each time I'm having to deal with a bit of landing lag. That's because I'm not getting the aerial out fast enough. Now if I double stick the input instead, you can see that I'm very easily able to get my fares out on the first possible frame so that they can be auto cancelled. With this move, if you're late on the aerial by even one frame, the move doesn't auto cancel, so buffering is critical here. Here's another very similar example with Pikachu's down air. When trying to input the dare by moving my thumb from X to the C stick, you can see that I'm not quite able to auto cancel my down airs consistently. But if I double stick those down airs instead, completely different story. Thanks to double sticking, I'm easily flying around the stage with auto cancelled down airs. Now this next example is going to be a little bit different. Roy's forward air has a quirk that makes it so it's interruptible by an action before the auto cancel window opens. So although it's impossible to auto cancel it from a short hop, you can double jump or do a special out of it before landing. By sliding your finger from X to the C stick, it's possible but difficult to do this when facing left. When facing right, it's close to impossible since you have to bring your thumb around the C-stick to push it to the right. With double sticking, this becomes extremely easy to perform, regardless of the direction that you're facing. Now let's look at another familiar, yet different example, Villager's up air. Similarly to before, if I try to do a rising short hop up air with Villager by pressing X and then sliding my thumb to the C-stick, it's difficult to hit the auto cancel window. But no problem, we can just double stick it, right? Well, not quite. If you try to double stick an up air, you'll probably see a whole lot of this. The reason being that if you input an up smash during your jump squat frames, your jump squat is cancelled and an up smash comes out. That's what is referred to as a jump cancelled up smash. Short hop up airs are tricky, because if you input the attack too early, you might up smash. And if you wait till after the jump squat, it's no longer frame perfect. Is there a way to circumvent this? Sure there is. By changing your controls so that C stick is set to attack, you can use double sticking to buffer a short hop up air just like any other aerial. Since up airs are so particularly hard to buffer on the ground, this becomes possibly the biggest benefit of double sticking. 
Notice how when I try to input my short hop up airs without double sticking, the hitbox isn't low enough to hit Falco. And even if I were to use the A button or claw my controller, it would be difficult to not accidentally full jump or up smash. With double sticking and C stick set to attack, the up airs strike just low enough to hit Falco. Similarly, a forward facing up air from Pikachu can't hit a standing pit unless it's buffered. Use double sticking to achieve this. Against shorter characters, even a reverse up air from Pikachu, which hits lower, will whiff unless buffered. With double sticking, the reverse up airs will connect against short characters like Wario with no problem. This makes for a great reverse aerial rush approach. Well, that's all I've got. Hope you enjoyed the video, and please take that second to like and subscribe, as well as follow my Twitch and Twitter accounts. It helps me out a ton. Thanks, and see you next time.